We've returned and it's done, but it appears to be smoking pretty bad. Oh, God damn. <laughs> what is this? I give to you the oven PCB. Very healthy. <laughs> Overclocking. The process of increasing your computer's clock speed to reach performance levels far beyond the manufacturer's intended level. This works by- What the actual fuck are you doing? Red shit is gonna come off. Anyways, the process of this is- Oh my- What is that? What the fuck is that? Well, for anyone that was interested, here's the simplified version. Come on, you bastard. Get under that. So why does the manufacturer not just give us this performance from factory? The answer is an increased power cost, which produces more heat as a byproduct. <laughs> So yeah, if you try and overclock without sufficient cooling, you might as well just be speedrunning your components into the void. So to start off this video, first we needed some more parts that could actually be overclocked. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to crawl under the desk. That's a little gay. We've got an assortment of new and old parts. It's supposedly a CPU, tiny little bubble wrap. So it looks like a CPU to me. So here we are. Unfortunately, my footage looked like blurry dog shit, so we're just gonna go straight into the build. So yeah, if you didn't know, I actually work nights, so I probably have the best part of like two hours. Two hours-ish to get this build done. We'll just have to grab our tissue paper i5 8600K. 20 quid for this bad boy. It's been a while since I've actually used an Intel system, so I don't really know how to remove this plug. Pull it out. Oh yeah, I believe this cover's gotta come off now, so just wiggle this bad boy out. Cool. i5 8600, and I've never put one in, but just put it in. Ooh! So yeah, just place her in. I think that's it. I uh, I think that's all I had to do. I guess I just drop this down, and uh, that was that wasn't too bad at all. Great success. Warning: Please peel off label before use. That's the kind of thing I'd forget to do. I was originally concerned we didn't have anything like a motherboard backing, but it looks like it comes with one, so we might not be cooked. But I, what the fuck am I supposed to do with all of these? I've read the instructions. I think I know what to do. Go down to the motherboard. Right, you're gonna be learning today. You see my beautiful motherboard, right? First of all, I have to take this bad boy down here and we have to place it into the stud holes at the bottom, like this. Oh, and it just fits in the holes. <laughs> Next up, we grab our studs. We place our said studs on top, on top, again on top. We take our brand new brackets. You would think after building so many PCs in a short period of time, I would be getting better at this, but I can assure you that is not the fucking case. All you need to do is sit back and relax. Why oh, you? Fucking studs. Wish I was a stud. Do a smiley face coverage today. There's the dot for the eye. There's the other dot. Oh yeah. That's a fucking demented smiley face. As you can see, we only do the most optimized thermal paste patterns in this house. More or less just line this bad boy up, right? I put it on the wrong side. Fuck. Okay, I just watched a YouTube video. My suspicion was correct. I am retarded. I did it in the wrong direction. It was a 50-50 chance and we failed the 50-50. Balls. Ow. That rather large sound was in fact me dropping us on the floor and I've kind of bent the corner piece. But bro, it's actually going to sit on top of my ram sticks. No, mm. no, 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 no. Back you go. Nice. That was fucking grief. Next up, because I own a cat, I uh, have to put it in a PC case now rather than box test it. Now I wonder if I can just... Whoa! Nice. Ta da! It's got an AMD logo on there. God, that's true. It's an AMD branded case, yet we're about to slam it with Intel. You love to see it, don't you? That is so satisfying. Yeah, I've signed myself up to so much fucking wiring, it's insane. Oh, yeah, have you guys ever wanted to know what happens when you become, I guess, reject tech YouTuber? Or whatever you want to call this at this point? GPU 1, GPU 2, GPU number 3, 4 GB RX 580, 8 GB. RX 570, 50 quid 3070. That also doesn't work, apparently. We'll figure it out. At this point, I had to go to work, so I asked my wife to take over. I'm his wife editing it, and uh, I'm not quite sure what's going on here, but I believe he is test, but test benching it with the parts that are not overclocked. So as we can clearly see, it's getting 45 FPS on 2K Battlefield 5 on ultra settings and I think we can do better. So here's the real meat of the the info here. As you can see there's some very important metrics here that you should look at for when we do it the second time but you can see we have a very steady CPU temperature and GPU temperature which is very important. Uh, no it's actually not stable it's going down when uh, the stress test goes on. I'm sure it's fine. Wow, <laughs> that looks fantastic. Look at those frames. Look at all those threads. Look at all those chickens. 
<clears throat> and now, as you can see, we have this beautiful, well-assembled PC that RGB doesn't work because ARGB and RGB is a fucking scam. But as you can see, it didn't turn on, shit. Never mind, it was just a plug. Fuck, let's try this again. <laughs> okay, it fucking works. Now let's take it apart. I need it CPU. I need to harvest its organs. It's like the saddest feeling ever. All of my hard work. All of that hard work just to rip it apart. You ungrateful young man. You know, this is, this is quite inconvenient really as a video idea. The shit you guys make me do. What is this card even? Oh, there we go. An RX 580, four gigabyte. Oh, this sucks. All right, let's let go. Plop, plop. Okay. That's one. Buddy, let go. Let go. Get off it. There we go. There you go. These can hang. Next up is to free our amazing heatsink. That was fun. There we go. Very nice. We need that CPU back. Do I have to remove the brackets, do you think? How do I just cop it without... Do I pull downwards? Yes. No, fuck, it's caught on this thing. Bastard PC, honestly. Now we can just flick this bad boy up, right? How do we... How do I release it? Boy. Hmm? Oh my God. Now I can just pull this up, right? Yes. Oh shit. Huh. Well, it still looks all right. But on the bright side, even after a fall. Still looks good, lads. That's fucking decapitator. Sheesh, look at that shine. God damn. Ooh. I give to you boys the eBay decapitator. Comes with a little razor blade so I can cut my wrists. I believe this is to remove the CPU glue. So if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm actually removing the head of the CPU to change out the internal thermal conductor to a liquid metal. By doing this, it should drop the temperatures between 5 and 15 degrees. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. So this block is going to push it. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. I just keep twisting. Kill the CPU. All these years in the gym just so I can murder a CPU. Ah! Oh, I think we might have done it. Do you think? Oh. I think we did it. Huh. Do -do 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 Destroying a 570 when? I mean, upgrading. Fucking mirror finished, mate. Nice. Okay, next up, I bought this. Yeah, uh, conductor or not, whatever this is. Heads up if you're doing this yourself, this is electronically conductive, so if you mess up and put too much on, it could risk destroying your CPU or motherboard. Instructions, we're not reading those. Bunch of warnings, yeah, that's nice. The idea is in the next part, we have to scuff the uh, back plate up. So with mother's cleaning brush, we use the Brillo pad and we just go, absolutely violate that area. Small piece of liquid metal in the middle. <laughs> Hello, sir. I'm in dire need for you to be spreaded. But I hate to say it, but I think we've used too much. Now we're just going to try and apply a tiny piece here. There we go. That was a much tinier bob, so hopefully it doesn't overrun the whole thing. There we go. It's on both sides now. I've been told not to use super glue, but it's kind of the only thing I have, so it is what it is. Probably not the best idea, but it is what it is. I'm just gonna put the CPU back in there like another half, by the way. No way is that actually going in. But it's just, it's just mounted. Oh my God. It's probably gonna fuck the CPU. Huh? Alright. Oh, okay. That's one. That's two. Alright. Alright, let's see if it posts. She's booting. Do we get a picture? We get a picture. Okay. Alright, let's run some tests. Sick. It seems as if... The 60 in peaks we were getting before is now peaking at 55, and we're getting as low as 45. I suppose that the lo loading and the highest point was the max thread, and even on max thread, we're only sitting at 52, in opposed to the 60, 65 we had before. I don't know, I'd say she's ready to be overclocked. Originally, I was going to be quite smart about this, and I was just going to take a 4 gigabyte version, take it apart, repaste it, and then change the fans out or the heatsink with one of my old parts ones because it's broken. Hmm. We could do that. Or, alternatively, we could take our non-working 8 gigabyte one, steal the heatsink on this, and then slap the VRAM on that. This is probably not going to work, but I think it'll be great, so let's give it a try. First up, let's test this one. See if we can uh, rub the VRAM on this one instead. 
Should just disconnect. Let me grab my flux. They don't even want to come off. Shit. Ah. <laughs> it's a beautiful day to roast PCB. It's not been one of the best ideas, but we could always sell it all back. I was told if we could somehow raise the temperature of the board, we could potentially get them off. So we're cooking it. Wait, no, no, I'm gonna get this out. Yeet. What is this going swimming so far? We've returned and it's done, but it appears to be smoking pretty bad. Oh, God damn. The fucking out of smell. No, we definitely overcooked it. We have burnt the piece of DRAM we tried to remove yesterday. We're gonna get a scoop it out of this. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I give to you the oven PCB. Very healthy. <laughs> it was a good test, because I can definitely tell you I think we cooked it on a bit too much. I'm selling this on eBay and say it's untested. <laughs> This was a terrible idea. This donor board is fucked. Now that we can't use that, I wanted an 8GB version just to test for the overclocking purpose of this video. So I went and bought one. It wasn't that bad, it was 40 quid because it has a single fan blade missing. We still need to make sure the thermals are okay since that's the main part of overclocking. We are now going to be smart people and do what we originally intended, which is changing out the, uh, the thermal pads and thermal paste so it's new. So take a look at this bad boy, shall we? Come on. Oh, the whole thing comes off like that. I'm just stupid. Nice. So we're going to replace these with some brand new TP3 Arctic. I believe I can just roll these off here. Uh, now that's done, let's grab our card and start placing some new ones. Just place this like this. Here, I guess. Remove its top layer. Take the excess here off. I don't want to waste any more than I had to, so we did the uh, probably the most scuffed job you'll ever see. Grab it all off the hill, off the uh, heat sink. And we'll reseal her back up for now. And we'll go test it and see what we can get out of this card. Cool. And seal her back up, boys. It was finally time for us to test out our hard work. We raised the megahertz on the RAM. We decided to try overclocking at 5 gigahertz with our new and improved temperatures. It crashed. Yeah, I don't think we're getting 5 gigahertz out of this. I tried dropping the clock speeds because this is kind of cooked. Two hours later. We've managed to successfully get this thing up to 4.8 gigahertz. I think the standard is 3.6 on this. What we're now going to do, we're going to put it through some tests and see just how well it runs. Just before we did that, I went on to AMD software and cranked up our GPU as well. First up, we decided to put this PC for a stress test after all of the things it's been through, and it passed, resoundingly, 97%. And so the final question you may be asking, was it worth it? Well, to my own surprise, yes. Everything over 4 threads saw a massive 15-20% to performance boost, and we even managed to keep our temperatures at a healthy range between 45 and 65, making this video... Great success.